Ford have just announced the return of the Ford Ranchero. Yes, this iconic American car is making a comeback after spending years off the market. Let me start by giving you a brief history of the Ranchero for those of you who might not be familiar with it. In 1957, Ford unveiled the Ranchero, which was advertised as a car truck. It was essentially a cross between a car and a pickup truck, combining the comfort and style of the first with the usefulness of the latter. In the United States, the Ranchero gained popularity in the late 1950s, through the 1960s, and even into the 1970s. The Ranchero had to contend with dwindling sales and more competition from other vehicles as the 1970s came to a close, though. The Ranchero's revolutionary heyday came to an end in 1979 when Ford ceased production of the unusual car. As time has passed, interest in vintage cars and trucks has recently increased once more. The Ranchero is the ideal example of the kind of distinctive and stylish vehicle that people are yearning for. Ford made the decision to revive the Ranchero by giving it a contemporary appearance in light of this. So what can we anticipate from the new Ranchero? Although Ford hasn't yet made all the specifics public, some of them are already known. In contrast to the body-on-frame construction of the original Ranchero, the new Ranchero will be built on the Ford Focus platform and have a unibody design. For the new Ranchero, a variety of engine choices are anticipated, including a turbocharged four-cylinder and possibly even a hybrid version. Customers will have a range of performance and fuel-efficient options thanks to this. The distinctive design of the original Ranchero should be carried over to the new version. Although the pickup bed and sloping back roofline are expected, it will also have contemporary elements like LED lighting and state-of-the-art safety equipment. Ranchers and farmers who needed a vehicle that could manage both labor and play were drawn to the Ranchero, a revolutionary automobile in its day. Young individuals looking for a hip, fashionable car also favored it. The back tailboard of the Ranchero opened to show a sizable pickup bed, making it one of the vehicle's most recognizable features. This innovation was unusual at the time since it made loading and unloading freight simple. The Ranchero's adaptability was another outstanding feature. It might be driven for work, as a daily driver, or even for leisure. This versatile vehicle is capable of carrying out any task and has a unique personality. But the Ranchero's beauty was what really made it stand out. It stood out from other pickup trucks of the day with its streamlined and sporty appearance. It was a car that stood alone as a statement and wonderfully encapsulated American automotive tradition. Sadly, the Ranchero's popularity declined in the late 1970s, leading to its eventual abolition. The fact that vehicle aficionados and collectors continue to view it as a classic upholds its heritage. Now that the Ranchero is back, we can once again enjoy the unique combination of a car and a truck that made the original Ranchero so unique. We could incorporate the usefulness and comfort of a pickup truck with the comfort and style of a car. It combines the greatest aspects of both worlds and is sure to be popular with a variety of customers. As I already indicated, the new Ranchero will probably come with a variety of engine choices, such as a turbocharged four-cylinder and perhaps even a hybrid powertrain. Depending on their needs and preferences, buyers would be able to choose between performance and fuel efficiency. The redesigned Ranchero is anticipated to keep the original's distinctive style while incorporating contemporary amenities, including LED lighting and cutting-edge safety systems. It will likely come in a variety of colors and finishes, have a pickup bed, and have a back roofline that slopes. Modern connection and infotainment choices are likely to be another element of the new Ranchero. Ford has been a pioneer in this field with innovations like the Ford Selenang C system, which enables users to access music, navigation, and other amenities via a touchscreen or voice commands. Considering that the new Ranchero has access to the most recent networking options and technologies, it is anticipated that this trend will continue. The possibility to experience the ideal car-truck hybrid that made the first Ranchero so adored may be the most intriguing aspect of the new Ranchero. Because it has a fascinating past and a distinctive character, an antique car making a comeback is amazing. The new Ranchero has something to offer everyone, whether you're searching for a car that can manage work and play, or just something elegant and fun to drive.
the competition might prove to be one of the new Ranchero's biggest obstacles. However, today's market is flooded with pickup trucks, SUVs, and crossovers that offer the same features and capabilities as the original Ranchero, which was a cutting-edge vehicle for its time. The new Ranchero must be absolutely exceptional and distinctive in order to stand out. Another issue with the new Ranchero could be its price. Prices for pickup trucks and SUVs have been steadily rising as these vehicles have become more and more popular over the past several years. The new Ranchero must be reasonably priced and provide the features and capabilities that customers desire in order to appeal to a broad spectrum of buyers. The adaptability of the new Ranchero is one of its main advantages. The Ranchero is a flexible car that rides like a sedan and handles like a pickup truck. The Ranchero is a versatile vehicle that can be utilized for a variety of tasks, including hauling tools and equipment for the workplace or taking friends and family on weekend adventures. The new Ranchero's attractive exterior is an added bonus. The Ranchero stands apart from the competition because of its pickup truck and sloping rear roofline, because it has a fascinating past and a distinctive character. An antique car making a comeback is amazing. The new Ranchero might be appealing to a variety of customers. Depending on the needs and preferences of the customer, the Ranchero's selection of engine options, which includes a hybrid powertrain, may offer performance and fuel efficiency. Everyone from weekend adventurers to small business owners is drawn to this car. The resurrection of the Ranchero may represent a shift in consumer preferences towards more adaptable vehicles that can handle both work and play. Customers looking for a versatile vehicle are drawn to the Ranchero's pickup bed and car-like handling. The resurgence of the Ranchero could also reflect a rise in customer interest in unusual and oddball automobiles. The Ranchero's uncommon style and personality may come as a breath of fresh air to customers looking for something distinctive in the sea of vehicles available that all look and feel the same. The environmental effects of the new Ranchero could present new difficulties. Pickup trucks and SUVs may be scrutinized more closely as consumers place a greater premium on environmental responsibility and fuel efficiency. To entice buyers searching for a more ecologically friendly vehicle, the new Ranchero will need to offer a variety of engine options, including hybrid and electric ones. The resurrection of the Ford Ranchero is a good development for the automobile industry, to sum up because it has a fascinating past and a distinctive character. An antique car making a comeback is amazing. However, the new Ranchero will face numerous difficulties, such as expenses, competition, and environmental effects. It must provide something truly outstanding and distinctive, be reasonably priced, and have a variety of engine options to appeal to a wide spectrum of purchasers in order to be successful. Keep an eye out for this legendary car to discover what the Ford Ranchero has in store for the future. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. Until next time, see you later.